Hi, and welcome everyone to another DrowPros video. Now, you probably already know that magnetic scales are the newest and greatest technology to arrive on the digital readout market, but perhaps you're not exactly sure what the advantages of magnetic scales really are. So let's go ahead and take a look at magnetic scale advantage number one, length. Now, next to me here is a very popular gunsmith lathe, and let's say that we want to buy a digital readout kit and make our lathe a lot easier to use. Now, for a lathe, typically we would install a two-axis kit with one scale behind the carriage, a one scale on the tailstock side of the cross slide. Now, because there's a lot of room behind the carriage on the back side of the lathe, installing the carriage scale is usually fairly easy to do no matter what type of scale you install. But the cross slide scale, on the other hand, is a whole different matter. So let's take a closer look. So here we are at the cross slide, and it's right along this surface here where we'll be mounting our scale. Now, there are two different measurements we need to take into account before choosing the right size scale. First, we need to know the travel of the cross slide. In other words, we need to know how far from front to back the cross slide actually travels. And second, we need to know how much physical mounting room we have along this surface here with which to mount our scale. Now, in a previous video, How to Size a Lathe, we measured the cross slide travel and we found out the cross slide has a total travel of six and three quarters inches. And if we measure the physical length of the table, we see here that we have a total of 13 and 3 eighths inches of metal to mount our scale to. So now that we have our numbers, well, what exactly do they mean? First, let's talk about the travel. As a minimum, we need to choose a scale that has more travel than the travel of our machine. Otherwise, the reed head can run into the end of the scale and damage both the scale and the reed head. Now, in today's market, there are three dominant technologies or types of scales to choose from. They are glass, inductive, and magnetic. Glass scales are typically available in 50 millimeter increments. So for our six and three quarters inches of travel, the smallest glass scale we could use would be a 200 millimeter scale. And here it is. Now our 200 millimeter glass scale can travel up to 7.8 inches. So if we're going to be using glass scales, this would be the one that we'd use. Next, let's take a look at inductive or ball scales. They're sold in two inch increments also. So for six and three quarters inches of travel, we'd need to choose an eight inch scale since a six inch scale wouldn't have enough travel. And here we are with an eight inch inductive scale. Now, finally for magnetic scales, they're also sold in two inch increments. So for our six and three quarters inches of travel, we'll also pick an eight inch magnetic scale. So here are all of our scales and the interesting thing we can see right away is the obvious differences in size. Even though the scales are all designed for eight inches of travel, the technologies are different and therefore you can see the resultant differences in overall scale length, height, and the thickness. Now, this brings us to a second consideration, the length of the mounting surface. Now, we already know that we have 13 and 3 8 inches of space to mount our scale to. But right away, we can see that we have a problem because both the glass scale and the inductive scale are quite a bit longer than the cross slide. Now, this is a fairly typical situation, and what it means is three things. First, the scale is going to take more time and be more difficult to mount. And second, no matter how we mount the scale, it's going to stick out past the ends of the cross slide, which means that it's a lot more likely to be damaged.
And also for the glass scale, what this means is that we'll first need to add a backer bar to the side of the cross slide and then mount the scale to the backer bar. But that means that it decreases how close the tail stock can get into the cross slide in order to support the workpiece. So now let's take a look at a magnetic scale. And it pretty much looks like we can mount the magnetic scale directly to the side of the cross slide without modifying it. But on the very front end, it does look like it hangs off maybe about a quarter of an inch at most. And in a perfect world, we would really want the scale to be shorter than the mounting surface. So here's the really beautiful thing about magnetic scales. You can custom cut them down to exactly the size you need. Now, don't try that with glass or inductive scales. And the best thing is, it only takes a couple of minutes to do. So don't forget to watch our next video on cutting scales. So now, here we have a magnetic scale that's been custom sized to fit our lathe. The overall length has been reduced to only 11 and 3 quarters of an inch long, but it still has a full 7 inches of travel. Now, take a look at how easy it's going to be to install. With just two bolts, it mounts to the side of the cross light. It doesn't stick out the front, it doesn't stick out the back, and it mounts flat directly to the surface of the cross slide. Note how it isn't mounted away or offset from the side of the cross slide like an inductive scale would be. In fact, the side profile is only about 3 eighths of an inch thick. Now, one last point to make is that for our magnetic lathe kits, our standard cross-slide scale is already upgraded to one micron resolution at no additional cost. Now, what this means is that you're going to get four times better resolution than you would with our competitor's standard five micron scale. Well, that concludes our magnetic scale advantage number one video, custom length. And I think you now know why we say that magnetic scales are the newest and greatest technology to arrive on the digital readout market. And remember, our magnetic kits have the longest warranty in the industry, a full six years. And finally, remember that when you call DROPROS on any of our toll-free numbers, you're greeted by a person, not a machine. And if that wasn't enough, we're veteran-owned and veteran-operated. Now, thank you for your time and thank you for your business.